Hello, this is Barbara from Cinco Ranch Branch Library. I'm going to be demonstrating how to use Microsoft Publisher to make some banners. The first banner we're going to do is going to be a Valentine's Day banner uh, using a pre-formatted template with uh, some small modifications. The second is going to be a birthday banner and we're going to do that by scratch. So let's first open up Muppet Microsoft Publisher and we're using the 2010 version. When you first open up the software, uh, you get various templates that have already um, been pre-made by, by Microsoft. So we're going to look for the banners. When you click on that, uh, you're also going to get some pre-formatted ones in various categories. Um, I have already looked at these, and the Happy Anniversary one can be used for Valentine's Day with just some changing of wording and such. So we're going to click on this one. And you can see it looks like this. So we're going to go to the end of the wording. We're going to backspace a couple of times and it has eliminated the wording. So we're going to replace it with Happy Valentine's Day. So this could be good to go if you want, just black and white, but I wanted a little more color to it. So I'm going to um, delete these little objects that they already have, and I'm going to replace them with colorful hearts instead. So we go to the Insert function, um, if I already had some specific pictures of hearts that I wanted, um, then I could just import them from my, my computer, but I don't have those right now. I'm just going to use clip art. So I click on clip art, and I type in hearts. So um, I hit go, and we'll see what options they give me, and see what I think will be good. That one looks good. Okay, so I'm going to delete this object by click, right clicking on it, delete it. I'm going to move this one over, just click on it and drag it. And then it's a little big, so I'm going to go to the corner there and just kind of make it a little smaller. And then I'm going to try and center it in between the bars there. So I have that picture there. And now we'll do the second one. We're going to delete that object. And we're going to find something else I could put in there instead. I want this one. So move that one over. And it's a little too big still, so we're going to make it smaller. And then put it in the center. There we go. So let us look at the whole thing and see what it looks like. Um, this is over a little bit to the left, so let's move this moved off a little bit. Um, that looks pretty good. Okay, so this is our first banner. Um, what you can do now is go File and then Print, and you'll see that it is um, 11 inches high, and so it'll use eight, piece, eight pieces of 8.5 by 11 paper. Um, if you want it to, to um, be a little smaller, you can make it to a landscape, and it'll be 8.5 inches high, and then it'll only use, use six pieces of paper. Okay, so we can go ahead and print that, and what you would do is then just tape the pieces together. They'll, they'll overlap a little, you can see here, and then they'll make a banner for you. So there's the Valentine's Day banner. Let's look instead at a new one, which is the birthday one that we're going to do without a template. Okay, so we so on banners, so we'll click on banners, and then below all these pre-made ones, we have just blank ones. Um, you didn't notice before, but it was um, the other one was 60 inches long. So we're going to be finding a banner that's 60 inches long right here. And so we click on that one, and this is our new one here. Okay, so this we're going to do from scratch. So we're going to first draw a text box. So you click in here, and like I said, it's 60 inches long, so 30 is going to be the middle part. So I'll click on the box right there, and then from here we'll draw it out. And then from here, we'll draw it out again. And then from here, we can make it a little bigger too. Alrighty, now we will look for what type of a font size we want. So um, I think I like the Cooper Black. So let's choose that. Uh, right now, it's only 10. Uh, we want to make it big so we can see it. So I'll try 200 and see what, how that goes. Now you can see that's pretty big. And if I want it to be um, 
in the middle aligned. I can click on here, and there it goes. So now I'll write happy birthday. All right, so there's my happy birthday. And now I want a couple pictures on each side. So I go into the insert, and again, I don't have pictures of, of Ben, so I'm going to just use clip art. Uh, so let me see, Ben likes skiing. So let's find pictures of skiing. Uh, let me see, I like that one. So we'll click onto that one, and then move it over to where I want it to go. And of course, it's a little big, so I'll scrunch it up a little bit, and then center it. Okay, and let me see, it's kind of wide. Let's move it over a little bit. All right, now let's go to the other side. I want another picture for that one. Um, he also likes climbing. So let's search for climbing. And what is a good photo for climbing? I like this one. Put that one in. That one actually came in small. So no problem. We can just make it bigger. So we go to the corner and stretch it out. I should make the rope even bigger. Okay, so let's look at the whole thing and see what we think of it. You could put like balloons or um, add color to it somehow, but you can play around with various, um, inserting various other clip art or shapes. But for our purposes, this is fine. So again, we're going to then file and print. So again, this one was going to be 11 inches tall using eight pieces of paper. And if you want it to be shorter, you could make it into, you could do the portrait and you could do landscape instead of portrait. So here's our second banner. We did it by hand. You can see it isn't that hard. Uh, you can play around with the inserting, whatever you want. Like I said before, if you have pictures on your computer, uh, specific personal pictures, you can add those in there and make it more personalized for your. So here is the end of our demonstration. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you can see that it's not that hard to do. Um, please come back to Fort Bend County Libraries and you'll see some more demonstrations using Publisher or other Microsoft software. Thank you.